Hello everyone. Today we're delving into the remarkable world of erythrocytes, also known as red blood cells. Join us as we explore the fascinating role these tiny cells play in keeping us alive and well. Let's begin. Erythrocytes, the most abundant cells in our blood, are true lifesavers. These remarkable cells carry out the crucial task of transporting oxygen to all parts of our body, ensuring the proper functioning of our organs and tissues. Let's take a closer look at the structure of erythrocytes. Red blood cells have a unique biconcave shape, which provides them with a larger surface area for efficient gas exchange. I like to think of them as looking a little bit like donut shapes, but instead of a hole in the middle, they have a thin membrane. Erythrocytes lack a nucleus, which allows more room to accommodate an oxygen carrying molecule called hemoglobin. They do not use aerobic respiration for energy. Therefore, they don't consume any of the energy that they're carrying. At the core of the erythrocyte's oxygen carrying ability lies hemoglobin, a protein molecule responsible for binding and transporting oxygen. When erythrocytes pass through the lungs, they pick up oxygen and bind it to hemoglobin. As they circulate throughout the body, they release this oxygen to tissues and organs in need. In this way, I kind of like to think of erythrocytes as being like a food delivery service, like our body's own version of Uber Eats or DoorDash. It picks up oxygen from the lungs in the same way a delivery driver would pick up food at a restaurant. It then takes it to where it is needed. The hemoglobin is sort of like the insulated bag the delivery person would put the food inside to transport. The production of erythrocytes takes place in the bone marrow and is known as erythropoiesis. Stem cells in the bone marrow differentiate into erythroblasts, which mature into erythrocytes. This process is regulated by a hormone called erythropoietin, which is produced by the kidneys in response to low oxygen levels in the blood. Erythrocytes, while vital, have a limited lifespan of only about 120 days. Once they age or become damaged, they are removed from the circulation and broken down with their components being recycled for future use. This process is done by specific white blood cells or leukocytes, which are known as macrophages. These macrophages are produced in the spleen and liver. There are several erythrocyte related conditions that can significantly impact our health. Anemia occurs when there's a decrease in the number of red blood cells or insufficient hemoglobin. Symptoms of anemia can be quite extensive, but generally includes feelings of being tired, weak, having shortness of breath. When extreme, it can actually lead to loss of consciousness and cognitive problems among more severe symptoms. Because there are too few erythrocytes and or hemoglobin, cells throughout your body aren't getting the oxygen that they need to thrive. So this is what causes those symptoms. On the other hand, we have polycythemia, which is characterized by an excess of red blood cells, leading to thicker blood and potential circulation issues. Polycythemia can happen naturally, but can also be done artificially. In fact, in many professional sports, there have been issues with some athletes engaging in what is called blood doping, where they increase the amount of erythrocytes in their blood to gain an advantage. Just think about it. If anemia causes you to be tired and weak, the opposite will make you have more energy and feel stronger. Of course, this is hugely dangerous and can cause extensive damage to a person's health. And there you have it. Erythrocytes, our tireless oxygen carriers, play a vital role in keeping our bodies functioning optimally. Understanding their structure, function, and life cycle helps us appreciate the incredible complexity of our circulatory system. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. To keep informed about new videos being created, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions or topics you'd like for us to cover, feel free to reach out and let us know. Thanks for joining today and see you in the next video.